Zeebie, zeebie, zeebies. Dragon Ball zeebies. Is that father brain? It's a mother brain, you dimwit. <gasps> <laughs> no. But what about father brain? What did make mother brain? Yeah. Aww. Who did mother brain have little Metroid babies with? I learn. Also, this game came out in 2004. Can you believe that? Wow, yeah. That was the year I graduated high school. Wait, really? Uh huh. <laughs> Old man. It is time, Samus. So many choices. Which one do I pick? I don't know. This is this is gonna stick with you for the rest of your days, though. So don't take this choice lightly. Yeah, on your deathbed, as your life is flashing before your eyes, <laughs> these choices are gonna be the ones that uh that show up. Look at that cartoony ass shit. How come it looks like my face? Cause it had to look really distinct on a tiny screen. Here, editor, to put a girl filter on this. Planet Zabes. I called this place home once. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Never mind. <laughs> uh, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted by the caverns below, now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here. My so-called... <laughs> my so-called zero mission. No one calls it that. <laughs> my so-called zero mission? My yeah, so -called... You're, you're the one that just titled it that, Samus. <laughs> my my so-called two Samus's revenge... Um, wow, way to ruin the ending to the game within the first second, you shitty fucking game developers. <laughs> How the, does that ruin the game by saying the because title? Because her being a woman was a big surprise for all the children back in the day, and now they just ruin it from the get-go. But I don't think they were gonna ever SHUT like, UP! Tomar, you know When did they ever say that Samus was a lady, or did they show her face? Because halfway the game pops you out at the end of uh, Ultimate Zero Mission, which was the first game, yeah. It's definitely not called Ultimate Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and halfway through the Ooh. game, there's that clever misdirect scene where her suit extends like a little thing so that yeah, she, she can- Yeah, she takes a shit, her prolapse She pees standing extends. up. Yeah. Her prolapse <laughs> extends. God, I'm pissed off now that I've seen that the game's ruined. Let's go in here. <laughs> But yeah, Lyle, you thought that was a big important moment too, right? Like, when you when you first played the original Metroid back in 1970, you saw that it was a pixelated woman. What went through your I, brain? My my brain said, horny! Horny me! <laughs> horny me do! And then I, I immediately, I, I went and I said, naked Samus on, uh, on the, the, on the Yahoo, 1942 on the Yahoo. internet. Com. Yeah. On the dogpile.com or Ask Jeeves or whatever the <laughs> hell they had back then. The dogpile, I think, I was one of the pile. first uh, search engine aggregators. And, and it took 43 minutes and it pulled up a picture of a whole nipple and I said, this is the future. My wank tank is complete. Also, that does look like the fraps frames per second. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Ugh. I think maybe Fraps stole it from Metroid Fusion. Yeah, we're we're making ourselves seem so old with all of this, honestly. You're just mentioning Fraps. <laughs> mentioning Fraps, mentioning being shocked. No one shocked uses anything other than OBS now. Saw Moose is a woman. I, I legitimately thought it was Saw Moose, too. <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> Saw Moose. Ah, the great Saw Moose has I, visited us. I just never... You know, it's one of those things that you read and you never hear said out loud, so I just uh, assumed it was Saw Moose. I'm sure I had some words like that. Same way that I I've thought, conveniently uh, forgotten. Same same way I thought it was Hermione. <laughs> from, <laughs> I love from kids. Hermione, yeah. No, I think I would have read that as Hermione too. <laughs> if I had actually bothered reading the book before seeing the movie. I don't think that's any kid's fault. That's stupid British people making up silly words. Yeah, yeah their their names really are just made up. <laughs> <laughs> Just them and them alone. They have names like, like Rutger, Rudiger, Billington, yeah, Churchill, idiots. It's a lot of them. Flambastrio, Flanders, <laughs> Gobblesnatch, <laughs> Cobblepot. <laughs> yeah, Cobblepot's a real one, isn't it? It seems real. Cobblepot. Look what I found—a big testicle. I mean, it just makes no! me think of Batman. Long beam. Ooh. You shine it on your testicle to kill the sperm. It makes all your sperm longer. Check this out. I don't know what you, what you think the long beam does, but it does that. Oh. <laughs> How's that different from your other beam? Well, it used to just kind of just fizzle out halfway through at the screen. Oh, I see. Oh, so this one... So now it's considered long because it makes it all the way across your... your 100 pixel wide screen. Yeah, you can do that, see? It's weird that that's an upgrade. They give it to you so early, too, that it might as well not have been. That's not very nice. Unless you just knew where to go and you can find that way They just want to introduce you to the idea of upgrades at this point. Okay, that's fair. 
You don't have to put me on blast like that, dude. <laughs> learn uh, basic game design law. <laughs> um, kind of learn some game design mechanics, perhaps. Maybe when you're gonna make the sanity not included video game, then you'll know what the fuck you're talking about. That was a, a thing at one point. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was, uh, we were we were trying to make something that was kind of similar to Punch Out or something. Scrunch Out. But, uh, I don't think anybody involved in actually putting it together knew what they were doing. That's I've, fair. I've That's always wondered about making a Punch Out game. It really does feel ah! like it would have, like, no! a lot less complicated programming, but a lot of pressure would be on the, sort of on the animators and just the fine-tuning of, like, making it feel good. <gasps> yeah, we we had kind of like a punch. It was like uh, kind of horizontal instead of like dead on. Mm -hmm. The idea was you would like crouch and jump instead of like weave left and right. So but, it was uh, still more of like a like a side side by kind of, like but it, it it was built around like your character doesn't really move. You just kind of like dodge in various ways. But it was it was so like mismanaged. You that son I, of a I don't think there was ever really a developer involved. It was it was just Machinima kind of blindly uh, saying like we're gonna do this. That's what every YouTube network was. It was just a bunch of people who didn't know anything and who made a bunch of promises that they knew they could never Oops. keep. <laughs> yeah, it rocked honestly. <laughs> yeah, I miss that. I miss being promised things that I'd never get. Me too. At least I had the promises. That's something, right? Ooh, this room runs like shit. That's the um, the challenge setting in. Hey, uh, emulator coders, get your shit together, because <laughs> how else am I supposed to steal games? I mean... <laughs> emulator coders, maybe call my dad on the phone and tell him that uh, he was wrong about me. <laughs> Just so you know, I bought this fucking game when I was like 12, so eat shit. I own it. Yeah, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act here protects Chris and his right to own a legal backup copy. And a firearm to shoot people who try to steal me to jail. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's one of your inalienable rights. I know that those words <laughs> came out in the wrong order, but I, I, it's still I, liked, I liked the way it sounded. <laughs> Steal me to jail? That's like a kid's book. That's how you uh, describe shit in a kid's book, and it makes the kids go, That is whimsical! Does, I does want the to missile be tank actually jail? give you missiles? Oh, okay, you can fire missiles. What do that's, you think, Dungy? That's my favorite uh, children's book. Does the missile tank you, actually give I'm you missiles? I'm just saying, in a lot of games, you actually have to collect a missile launcher to get missiles. Your mom's It's not enough to just launcher. have them. Check this out, check this out. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Your mom's a ah! Ah! nipple flaunter. Uh, kill that thing. Yeah. Oh my god, it's running so badly. Definitely shoot missiles in its well, eyes. Well, that'll show ah! it for looking at you. Dude. I am Samus. Ah! Uh oh. Oh no. no. I do like that effect where the missile just goes. <laughs> if you <laughs> hit the wrong thing, just deflates. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty impressive that the music's keeping up while the game's not. <laughs> you son of a fucking bitch! Now I'm screwed. Do you, you have no missiles? I don't think you need missiles to defeat him. Uh, I can beat him oh. later. Oh, it just oh, leaves it you just, alone. Oh, it just detects that it's unwinnable for you and just leaves? Yeah, I should have beat him there. That's easy. That thing... F does it have guilt? Is that why it left you on your lonesome? Well, I shot it twice it and has it was pity. like... Hmm, if I can shot that it's game... A, it actually has... It can feel like about four times more emotions than Samus Aaron can. Sorry, Samus. There's crazy shit like that, like whales, where they're like, they are scared. <laughs> I remember you, you don't don't like isn't like the part of the part of their brain that feels emotions on like elephants and whales like way bigger than ours. Yeah, or something. they're screamigdala. They're which, scre they're screamigdala. We use to scream, but they use for so much more. <laughs> this room's purple and junk. Yeah, that does tend to happen in places like this. Doesn't that make it more immersive of like an alien planet than the, the purple? Yeah, I think the idea was to just pick a, cust a color that contrasted really hard with Samus's armor. No, it's because on alien planets everything's purple. Oh, okay. Think about it, Earth, green, blue, aliens, purple. Get it? That no. is a color you don't see a lot in nature except in this example and in this one. And this <laughs> one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Except for like purple flowers and like and purple people and, and the California and raisins, purple birds. <laughs> they are purple and, and purple grapes. They're oh. purple and they're real <laughs> sons of bitches. Oh god, these little things are kicking my ass. To be fair, the camera's not really helping me there. Come on, Lyle, make your joke. <sighs> Fine. It's almost like Christopher Nolan's directing. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because you said the camera's not helping. Uh, I was talking about the nutsack, but okay. Oh, that joke. Yeah. Oh, that that looks like my scrot. Okay. Thank you. Thirty-nine. Oh, oh. Fuck you, little bats. Fuck you. Give me that. <laughs> They're gonna kill you. No. They're gonna kill you. No. <laughs> see? Too bad none of them dropped health. Did you see? Uh, did you see Christopher Nolan is just being a being a real one lately? What's he doing? Or, or, he's, oh yeah. He's like. Fucking like really, really angry that uh, people aren't going to movie theaters. How dare he's, they? He's <laughs> angry about it. He's that? pissed off and he's like, he's real mad at the. He, is uh, he taking the, it personally? Yes, he's real mad at the HBO Max thing. He said something like, "Imagine going to bed thinking your movie is going to be shown on a cinema screen and finding out you're on a streaming service." Or, or just yeah, that just sounds like he, the end of the added, fucking world. He that sounds like a problem fucking, that just anybody can relate to. He added some fucking colorful language in there too, but I, I I forget what he fucking said. But yeah, it was like I don't know, Christopher Nolan's movies I specifically fucking avoid in the theater because he's like, how about I rip your goddamn ears off? Oopsie. Christopher Nolan said that? Yeah, Christopher Nolan said, uh, you, Chris, are a prick. I'd say Memento sucks and uh, it's <laughs> bad. You think Memento sucks? That's no. like my only, I, the only Christopher Nolan movie I actually on. like. No, I'm kidding. I don't even know anything about it, really. I would just say that because that is the one everyone likes. So you think that would get to so him? So that's you admitting you're just being contrarian. <laughs> so you, you just Finally. Wanna, no, you want to attack the man at his foundation. <laughs> I, I can respect that. I feel like he'd be like, what the fuck? Why did he say that? Why? It put me on the map. Yeah, give me my charge beam already, Oh, Dad. yes! Oh, yes! Would be this can really, like, throw stuff at you fast. I like that. Well, yeah, how else are you gonna keep the player engaged? <laughs> Jeez. Tomar. Why don't you spit on Nintendo's corpse some more? I'm not! <laughs> Nintendo have been dicks lately, have you seen that? Have they? What have uh, they been up to? They've been just, like, taking down, uh... Like, different countries and shit. Yeah. Taking down different countries? They bombed Siberia. They took Siberia, Poland, and now they're going to invade Ireland next, which is kind of a bummer for me. To be fair, That is though, really rude of them. I never even knew about that. To be fair, though, Ocarina of Time was a masterpiece. So That no one can deny. Yeah, but, uh... Not even a fucking idiot. But it's not 1998 anymore, so maybe they should try something new, huh? Well, maybe it should be 1998 again. Did Have they, you ever thought that, about that? Did that come out in 98? I think you, you either nailed it or you got it completely wrong. You I, know what is 1998? 1998. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one, baby. You can't emulate that. <laughs> you sounded so mad there. <laughs> you went, Genuine thanks. disappointment. Yeah. I mean, Tomer, I don't know what you expected there. I wasn't gonna lie about it or something. You're a real observer, you know that? You son of a bitch. I know all the secrets of this game. Like, as for that, that guy drops a purple. <laughs> this guy here drops nothing. And this guy here, well, he drops purple. That's amazing how you keep doing that. Well, yeah, November 1998 was the U.S. <laughs> release. Aww. I was right. I love you, Ocarina of Time. I love you so much. God, I love running around Hyrule Field. Do you guys remember... Uh, did you guys ever buy, like, used Nintendo 64 games? Yeah. I, I didn't have a Nintendo 64. Oh. I did. Well, yeah, Nintendo 64 and, and Super Nintendo and all those, they stored the data on the cartridge. Yeah, no, you so, sometimes you'd get some random person's save data, either at Blockbuster or just, like, <laughs> yeah, getting, getting used stuff. I remember when I played Ocarina of Time, I had this crazy, like, the guy did everything. So I got this weird, crazy preview of what the end of the game was going to be like. So I saw like, Link was an adult, and he was wearing a red tunic, and he had a big sword, and I was like, He ruined the whole game for you! What the fuck?! <laughs> I, I, it, in a way, it made it cool, though, because I was like this little bitch with a knife, and I was like, <laughs> When do I become the cool guy with the big sword?! Did I ever tell you this story about when I first saw Link to the Past? No. It was like, the first house we ever got in uh, Atlanta, and it belonged to this Japanese family. Uh, and their son, I just remember, like, my parents were looking around and, like, they were like, this would be your room. And I, like, walked inside and, like, their son was just sitting there and he was playing, like, he had, like, an, a, like the Japanese Super Famicom, which I looked at and instantly was like, why does that look so much cooler than the American one? But then also, like, he was playing that game and it, and it was still, like, a year from release in the U.S. 
and I was just like, this is what Zelda looks like in Japan? And like, like when I played the game like years later, I'm like, this is the same fucking game! I don't, I don't know. That, so you were like chasing not, the dragon really of it? It's not interesting a story, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was an exciting moment for me to just like happen to get this glimpse into, into like a pre-release title entirely by accident because of a house I moved into. That yeah, is cool. Japanese to US releases used to be way, way off. Like it used to be, came out in Japan and then came out in the US like two years later. Yep. When I was a teenager, I played all the Zeldas. Uh, like Ocarina of Time and Wing Waker, and then A Link to the Past came out on Game Boy Advance. I was like, oh, this is cool, this is a new Zelda game, I, I thought it was brand new. And when I played it, I couldn't get over how much I hated the sound of the instruments and the music. It was like, this sounds like fucking ass, why does this sound so gross? Well, for one, the Game Boy Advance has a really bad sound chip, so it wasn't helping, but... I remember the French horn sound effect pissed me off oh, so bad. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> it's so about. It's so ugly to listen to the... It's very... I don't know how to describe it other than it makes you feel like you have a fever or something. I like, just, I really don't like it for some reason. It just sounds so ugly. You're, you're talking about like the... Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's just, there's something about it. It is, I, I kind of am in agreement, even though there are some good tracks in that game. Oh no, th musically. all the music is beautiful, but it's just that one sample, it's when I hear it, it's like, why couldn't you be any other sample in the entire world? Do you mind <laughs> the SNES version of it's it? It's the same one, really, oh, except the that same? the Game Boy Advance one is more, it has more of that, like, hiss in it, because it's Game Boy Advance. Just because it's a shitty tiny speaker? Well, the Game Boy Advance just has just w weird hisses over every sample. Even in the emulator, do you yeah. sort of still can you, detect- can you not hear it? Listen. I guess you're right. You can hear that buzz. There's, like... there's definitely like a tooth on everything. Yeah, toothy, bright, warm, muddy, creamy, stinky- Come on, you know that made <laughs> sense when I said it! Yes. Yes, Toba. A yes. tooth as in like the, the, the wave, like the, like the, like the- the sine curve or whatever the fuck. The yes, it's a fluffy, fuzzy. It it would literally look like it had little fucking like uh like saw <laughs> teeth on it. Red and meany mac and cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheesy. I know, cheesy. I know the sound. least about sound in the entire room. I'll just <laughs> shut up. I'm not. You know what? I use those words because I'm a bit. Oh, see this room. Ah, yeah. uh, you knew. I knew, I he knew. knew. You old. Wow. Now how am I supposed to get in here, hmm? It's like you'd need some kind no. of cool grappling beam. Shit. Is you, know a, what, you know what game the Japanese version bomb. actually like is totally different of and kind of rocks? What? You ever played Donkey Konga? I love that game. Yeah, I like Donkey Konga. Donkey Konga <laughs> was a, 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 you got a, an interesting concept for a rhythm game, but uh... The songs that they picked for it, I think that they literally just went, what's the cheapest thing that was on the radio that we could license? <laughs> so you're playing like Rock Lobster and stuff like that. <laughs> That's but a great song, we talking I, about? I had a friend from Japan and the Japanese version of that game has like this crazy soundtrack of these real sick like Japanese like metal songs and shit like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very different. I mean, obviously, something like that yeah, you don't a translate rhythm game, over. But... The soundtrack really does make or break the game, usually. Well, you know what? I feel like DDR has a lot of weird Japanese music on it, and they just were like, "Screw it." Let's... I thought most of it was like European music. Oh, honestly. is it? I mean, I could be wrong. It's a lot of like Eurobeat shit, like Captain Jack and <laughs> that's a good song. And like Stan Bush. I Actually, really... I don't know what's Stan Bush. Like, was the guy that did... like I don't know if he made music. For Japan, because like all the initial D stuff, I think is by him. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong guy. He called maybe me a twat. Maybe that's not Stan Bush. Maybe Stan Bush is the guy who did the Transformers 1989 soundtrack. That is him. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of the wrong guy, not Stan Bush. He did Some, yeah. something Rogers or Mister Mister no, Fred. The guy who did all the initial D songs that are super memorable. Stinky Rogers. Look it up. I have no idea. I uh, Ugly Rogers. You're talking about like running in the '90s and shit, right? Yeah, stuff like that. Nasty Rogers. Like Space Boy and like uh, Dave Rogers. That's who I was trying to think of. I sit there. Not Stan Bush. You got the touch. Yeah, he was Italian. <laughs> yeah, he was Italian. So that is like Eurobeats. Save, please. I really want to figure out why it's slowing down. It's pissing me off, honestly. 
What if you loaded up your Eurobeat playlist and then uh, Spotify said Eurobeat more like Eurobeast? Samus would say. <laughs> <laughs> she would jiggle her back leg <laughs> and her back fat. <laughs> yeah, her leg goes back. But yeah, but her torso and front legs stay completely stationary. So like Miyamoto goes up to the guy doing the sprite. So when she aims up, I want you to make her get into a cool pose and like look up and then be all dramatic And then the guy just like selects her back leg and moves it back a pixel Then he gets fired and he gets sent a fucking <laughs> sword to kill to work, himself He gets sent to a work camp <laughs> Yeah One of those no. famous Nintendo work camps Why would they put purple bugs in space? Uh Maybe they didn't put him there. Maybe that's just where they were born. What happened to your whole purple thesis? Did that just go out the window? Yeah, yeah, I thought we had this discussion. Well, I mean, they're bugs, not aliens, stupid. Alien <laughs> bugs? Own. No, they're just simple, regular Pokemon. No. I got a missile tank. Ain't you proud? I sure am, son. Tank's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> what am I supposed to- Can you blow that up while you're in the lava? Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Oh no! Well, you can. This yeah. is a horrible idea. I don't think you're equipped for this oh, area. Why did you do that, Chris? Oh, you told me to, and now I'm stupid, and now you we gotta have go to back. Listen to me. Now we gotta go back. Now we gotta go oh. back. <laughs> See, you lived. I can't believe she went all the way into the layover. Give me more, 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 more. I'll bet some speedrunner does that on purpose. Okay, so are we not supposed to be in this room yet? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem right. Do you get like a morph ball jump? You do get a morph ball jump. But it looks like something that would require more than just a missile or a bomb to destroy that, like, plant thing. Oh, no! You're gonna fall all the way down no! again! <laughs> like, this time, uh, I'm, I know what's happening. Come on. Come on, little lady. Come on, little lady. Come on! Okay, sorry. Okay, I guess we can't do that yet. Get out of here. I need some, more uh, health. Okay, that's, that's fine. fine. Oh, <laughs> that was after you. You said that this was your favorite game and you've played it a million times. It's yeah, true. You know, like the back of your hand, you and do. no one should ever try to give you any help under any circumstances. You specifically said, "Oh, if wants me to go down to North the North Oh yeah, just go down that big long shaft. Well, we got an extra uh, space clamp missile tank, so we're fine. Stupid little spikeities, spikeadoos. Can I get back here? Why did you do that? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, there you go. Oh. oh. Well, now you can just roll on through. I don't know how productive that was, but it that worked. Was weird, honestly. Let me out. Damn you. So I'm just gonna go all the way down, down to Goblin Town. Down, yeah. down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. The only 2D Metroid I've ever played is, uh... Fusion. Uh, I heard that was a good one. I never played it. I liked it. Uh, everyone this year, and specifically this year, I don't know why, is starting to say that Metroid, Super Metroid, is an overrated piece of shit. Really? Yeah, it's like the new, the new thing That's I'm hearing. That's the new hot take? Yeah. That's the new think piece, uh... I think it might be a little true, because every time I've tried playing it, I get bored within, like, I think it's 30 minutes. I think it's a completely unfair, like, hindsight kind of thing, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure at the time, though, it was, like, amazing, but it now it, it feels was. dated to go, go back to it. Because so many people have taken their formula and improved on it by now that it just feels <laughs> That's like... That's a really good point. Yeah, like, yeah. but... I feel like there's a lot of things like that where something is really, really influential, and then the things <gasps> that it inspire kind of make it feel obsolete. Look, it's a pixel brain. I personally felt that way trying to play an original Harvest Moon game. Like, Stardew Valley did everything they did better. And yeah. so, that, to the point that the, even the new Harvest Moon games just feel lazy by comparison, because one guy with an indie studio did a better job than, like, a whole team with, like, corporate financing. It's look over on head. Yeah, Stardew Valley is one of those games that just updates forever, though, right? I feel like that was definitely their rep. I don't know if they still do or not, because I haven't played. But yeah, they, they like went and fully added like like multiplayer co-op to the game just like casually after its release. Something that, that a lot of other games, like when people ask for multiplayer, you get a whole like conniption fit and like a our game was not designed or a multiplayer, do you want me to reap? And it's just like they're just like, Oh yeah, we added it in. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly think games, if they can, add just a, a stupid player two thing. If they can do it, why not? If it breaks the game, just like make it a, an extra mode after you beat the main game. Yeah. Yeah, what in the actual hell happened to fucking co-op games? 
Uh, they don't make as much money as slapping yeah. ads and bullshit yeah. grinding on. Like, also, also, yeah, most even most multiplayer games made to this day are built only with like a network stack in mind and no like couch co-op. Yeah, yeah. like I remember back in the day, every shooter or whatever Everything would have like screen. a, like a, a co-op mode. You know, like your Gears of Wars and your Halos and shit like that. And then it just stopped. Dude, I'm still, like, chasing the dragon of Lost Planet 2. You guys ever play that? <laughs> no. I'm aware of it. I played the demo, but... Oh, I, man, it was so insanely good. I was gonna really? be like, it, it, it was play the first the game channel, to have, but... like, really fucking monstrous bosses, right? Yeah. Or at it, least one of the first. It's one of those games that, like, the PC version used GameSpy, so it, it's unplayable now. Oh. Which is kind of oh. bullshit. Yeah, I, all the stuff that used GameSpy is like a, a way around having to engineer their own like network stack, which I can't blame them for doing, but yeah. It sucks that like now none of those games are like natively playable oh. multiplayer. You have to like oh. some some community member has to like develop a hack around it. Yeah, but it it was really fucking cool. Oh fuck. There you go. It, it's like you you have like a grappling hook and your character is very uh I don't know the word, like, jumpy, like, you can, like, stick to things and grapple to things, like, your your character feels very kind of, like, mobile. Not fast, necessarily, but you can, like, kind of scale walls and, you know, things like that. <gasps> and it kind of has a little bit of, like, like a Shadow of the Colossus, like, Monster Hunter style, like, I can clamor around on this thing, sort of deal with the bosses and stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it's real neat. Like, there's there's a boss that, Tomar, you probably fought this one if you played the demo, where, it, like, it has this thing in, in its back that you, like, pound down yeah. into its body. That's, I think, the only boss I've and ever then, uh, fought. And then you can, like, go in that's its what mouth the demo was. and, like, hammer that thing back out. So, like... You could have people shooting it from the outside and knocking it over and stuff while someone's like in its gut like killing it from the inside And it was really really cool It's it's like one of the best like co-op shooters I think ever made and it's just like lost to the fucking annals of time now It sucks. Thanks to the the demise of game spy. Yeah, okay. basically Just gonna check down here real quick like uh, the last time I tried to play it, like I st I straight up couldn't get it to even open. Like that's how integrated it was. That's so sad. Yeah. Wasn't GameSpy like an evil virus? Um, I think it was to prevent evil viruses. But didn't it turn out to be like some kind of evil virus that like sucked the fucking credit cards off your machine or something? You're thinking of Bonsai Buddy. No, I swear, I swear GameSpy went under for like some weird nefarious I reason. I do feel like GameSpy did at least have some some PR disaster. I don't know if it ever turned out to be true or not, but it was definitely enough to like That's what I remember. Kill I remember. their brand. I think people just did, kind of didn't like it because it was an additional DRM. I mean, you could be right, I just didn't, haven't heard of it. Tomer's looking it up! I'm googling GameSpy scandal. Yeah, see what comes up and fucking report back. Oh, I fucking love this. See this right here? Yeah. Check this out. You get this thing. It's like, what the fuck? It's, it's an unknown item. What the fuck? What oh. the fuck? And you're like, oh, it's a virus. What is it? What is this thing? Incompatible with current suit. You're like, oh, man, what the fuck is that? But it lets you get out for now. It does this, whatever the if fuck anything, it is. Yeah, I keep this keeps leading back to the classic Kane and Lynch game spot scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I love blame and splinch. Game Spy, I guess, is just close enough to Game Spot. That yeah. that is one of the, I think that was one of the most publicized like gaming industry scandals of what all was time. It? it was that, like, uh, everybody was giving the new Kane and Lynch game fucking terrible reviews oh, because and then it the was GameSpot bad. Guy didn't, and he got in huge shit over it, right? Or, he got fired. Or, or that's something. what it was. No, that's right. He didn't give them a good review, and then they fired him. And at the exact same time, they were running like. Like huge, like site wrapper ads for Kane and Lynch too, mm. and they clearly had like some backroom deal where they were trying to force him to write a favorable review. And then that guy started Giant Bomb, right? Maybe. I don't. I don't actually know where that went, but could could oh! very well be the case. Now I'm stuck in the fucking eagle hole. Yeah, get. I I actually never had any sort of um. I never had any sort of like guidelines for pregame discharge. Like they never were like you can't, you can't be. The only time they ever, uh, they ever were like you can't put that in there, was uh there was a point where I 
said that like Iwata said something. Oh really? Yeah, and they were like, "You, you, we, we've gotten in trouble for attributing a quote <laughs> to a dead guy before, so don't do that." That's the only time they ever told me you can't do that. But like, I do feel like there is a thing with game journalism where it's very oh. heavily like, fuck, integrated with advertising for video no. games, because it's their only source of revenue other than like. Yeah, paid I mean, membership programs. If you think about it, it it makes sense, right? Because it's like press revolving around a product. But it, it's a it, it is definitely a built-in flaw when you're supposed to be trusting these companies for for like opinions on on whether a game's worth buying. Yeah, that's and very they, true. And they can be bought off. Yeah, bought off or like you know, they don't even necessarily need to be bought off. I feel like most of them aren't. But what they do get is. You know, oh, we're gonna not send you review codes anymore because you gave our, our game a bad review or, or something like that. Like, I know Bethesda back in the day was infamous for doing that, where certain websites would just... Their Bethesda game reviews would come out way, way late because, uh... They'd have to buy normal retail copies. Yeah, exactly. Wait, it, check this out. You ready? Yep. Check this out. This is funny. It's funny as fuck. Look, watch this. <coughs> 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 <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was pretty good. Check it out. I saved on my ship. Inside there's a green screen so I can have like all kinds of silly pictures. You can do all sorts of fun little video motifs. Yeah, motifs. Wait, motifas. Go... Motifas. She is from Planet Zaybase. <laughs> motifas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. You guys, you just got a new piece of motifa lore <laughs> for probably the first time in years. Yep, I had to pay Nintendo to use it so. Spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> you you invested a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> in making making Motif have a Metroid based backstory. I really had to go out of my way to do that. What <laughs> level of success and like finances do you think could make that happen? I don't know. There's a number on it. There's got to be. To make Nintendo acknowledge that Motifa is from Planet <laughs> yeah. if, if Disney, If Disney bought the rights to Motifa, made a Motifa movie, it's the most successful Whoa. movie of all time. They branch into video games, into Motifa video games. Did you know that the most powerful feminist symbol today, Motifa, began as a thing on a on a boys only let's stream? <laughs> boys or, or let's play channel? Fucking... It's oh. true. So, I wonder if Motifa, her in-game model, is based on a real woman. She's gotta be, right? I mean, I don't know, like, th those characters are built on sliders and shit, right? Or, no. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, some I know, of them are... I know very little about the asset production on the original GTA games. It does feel like, uh... I guess that's not really an original GTA game, but that's GTA 4? 5. Was I... Motifa from 5? Oh, from okay. Five. Yeah, no. So on the GTA server, you can like pick and choose every single NPC in the game, and I could, I could think I could confidently say that every single one had a bit of love put into it, like like texture painting, like individual things onto each one's face and stuff. Oh, so they're not just randomly generated. I don't think they're... so. I'm sure that they start with a randomly generated thing, but then go like crazy with adding personality to them by like painting onto them and shit. Yeah, Rockstar was one of those like very detail oriented companies from the beginning. Yeah, it seems like they put a lot of effort into, like, minor details that don't actually really matter. <laughs> well, GTA V at the time was the most expensive game ever made. Yeah. But it also was one of the highest grossing games ever made, wasn't it? I think it, it is the highest is. grossing yeah. piece of media, like, individual piece of media ever created. I was gonna say, see, it's hard to argue that it wasn't dollars well spent on development. They're yeah. scummy, though. They keep, uh... They keep just adding on to GTA V and using shark cards and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get, they're, they... They've been, I assume they're, pu yeah, they're publicly traded because they're part of Activision now. I, or, are they wait, Rockstar? Are they? No, 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 never mind, never mind. I was thinking of Blizzard. Oh yeah, that's true. Because Blizzard used to also have a reputation for being like a super like, like white glove, like detail oriented company. And, and then they became the worst enemies ever. And, and I mean, yeah. I mean, World of Warcraft became another like pay to play kind of game now as far Ooh. as I know. Can I get up there? I mean, Rockstar kind of goes both ways, though, which I, I guess I'm fine with. Like, I played Red Dead recently, oh. like, when Cyberpunk got delayed, I was like, fuck it, I guess now is the time. And, like, that campaign, I, I mean, I still have my problems with it, but it, it is well made. I gotta give it that. 
So, like, they still do, like, the campaigns, and then on the side, they have, like, the super money-grubby multiplayer stuff. It's... That's so bad. They, are they publicly traded, though? That feels like the kind of thing that you just resort to when, like, you're desperate to, like, grow revenue, but you don't really need it. You just, because you're a big corporation and you have shareholders to answer to, you sort of just always need to be finding new money. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Oh! Ice beam! Woo! Now I can use ice! Is Rexter... Games? Is Rockstar Games my friend? Public? <laughs> Are they the... your friend? Can uh, can we make that a, a really high Google search result for is Rockstar Games my friend? <laughs> is Rockstar Games my friend? Yeah, if everybody Googles it, you can do your part. <laughs> to... Is Rockstar Games my friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where am I? This place is stupid. Bubbles, as if. Ooh, okay, you know what? This place rocks. This is the shave room. Where you get your your pussy all nice and velvety. Let me be the first. Okay, to say, so they're owned by Take Two Interactive, which is public, been that. which is publicly traded on Nasdaq. Let's buy a bunch of Nasdaq. I mean, you can buy a Nasdaq index fund. Yeah, I'm trying to put together a Nasdaq. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got about half the cards for it, and the other half. <laughs> a Nasdaq for Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> What is your CCG of choice, Lyle? Did you ever get into like Pokemon or no, Magic no, or Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I, I know Ooh. just enough of it to make fun of Kyle, and that's it. <laughs> Throw in some shade at, at, at our other editor, Kyle. No, nah, he knows what he did. He <laughs> fucking went off on on Goifs, Goifs. For like fifteen minutes on stream, and I never. What's let him a fucking a Goif? I don't even ah, know what the, that means. There, there's like an infamous Magic card called the Goif, and. Uh, there was a scandal where this card was basically just worth a lot of money. <laughs> and so in a tournament, I guess there, there's like a All certain right. type of tournament where you open packs of cards like oh, yeah, yeah. in the a tournament. Dra a draft tournament. And the guy basically dropped out of the tournament like in the finals because he got a goif <laughs> and uh... And didn't want to risk losing it? Yeah, I think the goif was worth more than the tournament winnings would have <laughs> really? been. So he just kind of took the goif and ran. What that's, a my, that's my understanding Can't blame him, I would have done the same damn thing. What yeah. an actual hero. There's weird stuff like that though, like some of the cards I guess had uh, like weird effects. So there was one card where the it was like some stupid gimmick where you literally dropped the card and if it landed on something like that card got destroyed or something and it became a really really powerful and a really rare magic card because sounds like one that would get banned really quick well he, it, it was a problem that sorted itself out um because what happened with it was people started tearing them up and throwing them all over the table because there's nothing in the rules that says you can't do that so technically they they would be able to like Land on more than one card yeah, at a time. Yeah, scrap the, the opponent's entire, like, field. Uh, but, but because of that, the card ended up really, really rare because they were getting destroyed in every tournament. And obviously they were like, yeah, this card's stupid, we're not making more of it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Those are my oh, two, to, to my me, two that, bits of, That uh, feels like, a, like, tr that's like tripping in Smash Brothers. It's like something that, like, no, n like, no one had really any, like, forethought when they put it in other than just to, like, be an annoyance. <laughs> Tripping was a spite move. Because, I thought it uh, was. It was like a spite move against people who wanted to make Smash Brothers competitive. Yeah, because soccer, I was like, this is a, this is a game for butt babies. And then, uh, put that in there to fuck with them, and then they played it competitively anyway. I mean, technically he was right. Yeah. Smash competitive is full of the biggest fucking assholes on planet Earth. Yeah, but that's not a good reason no, to, like, no, no, kill totally. the community. But, imagine being him. Imagine being poor old Sakurai, and he goes on the internet, and, and he you're sees... just the creator of Kirby's Dreamland for yeah. the Game Boy. You're trying to make children happy, and then you see a bunch of, like, mad children, like, actually fighting each other over, like, Smash movesets and shit. Yeah, the, the Smash t community is fucking notorious, too. Like, even before they all got Me too last year. Um, <laughs> the entire Smash community got Me too Pretty much, like, every prominent one almost got got Me too would Like, the big ones all got Me too would And then even before that, they basically had a, a reputation for, like, not showering or just Having being... smelly ass cracks. Yeah. Uh, basically. That's not even... That's not even, like, the half of it. 
but yeah, no, I, I don't know. Like, I get it. I really do get it why they would be like, we don't want to... No, yeah, no, you should be allowed to, like, play Smash competitively, but I'm just saying that being poor old Sakurai and seeing the kind of shit that he yeah. sees, you, you must get really worn out on and it. And that was the thing, is they were just starting to, like, they were taking a couple tepid steps into kind of, like, officially having, like, Smash tournaments, and the new Smash Bros, they actually do balance patches and stuff like that. Yeah. So they were, they were kind of gearing up to be like, huh, okay. It seems like they're finally embracing Esports, which well, they, I, they were, and then everybody got me, dude, and now they're yeah. like, "Fuck!" Yeah, as a sh as a shareholder, I would still like to see them continue to embrace esports, despite that. Yeah, well, they were like bad me too, is too. They what they just not what they just need to avoid doing is actually spotlighting members of that community because it seems to expose them to a lot of risk. But yeah, but to at least cur encourage the tournaments themselves rather than endorse individual players seems like the way to go. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's just in the Smash scene, there were people that were like Smash celebrities, you know? No, I've definitely like... And they were like all I've, talking to 15 year olds, every uh, single one. I guess that's the only kind of real, like, person you attract with your Smash skills. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess this you is just... You don't think you're gonna get like a hot lawyer woman? A hot lawyer? <laughs> She really looks up to your lack of a, wow, of a, so good at of a distinct, of a discernible career. <laughs> but I hear Tekken players are absolute gentlemen. <laughs> I, I, there I, probably I, is some obscure fighting game that's just got where, like the politest fucking community. Yeah, it's like the Garo Mark of the Wolf fighting community or something. <laughs> I feel like there there is like a weird dichotomy with esports where like if you get good at a real sport. Uh, like, they're never gonna make Football 2, and then football's obsolete, and you've gotta either learn Football 2 or your <laughs> career is gone, you know? I feel like that's something with esports that's just kind of, like, destined to happen. Yeah. Unless you have a game sort of... Well, even then, they're making, like, Overwatch 2. It's like, why? Isn't the point of that game to, like, update it indefinitely? Well, yeah. Also, I've seen, like, yeah, screenshots of Overwatch 2. I think you it... just make Overwatch 2 to just make more game sales. Yeah. I mean, well, they're, they're, yeah, they're different things. I think when you make a game that's aimed at that market, you can't really slap, like, a two on it. It seems like... Oh, you silly slambo. But at the same Fuck. time, they do. They do. Sorry, I thought I was being smart by coming here before we go to Crade. But Instead, you're being stupid. Dumb. It turns yep. out, yeah, he's got his back to you. <laughs> and you yeah. had to leave in disgrace. They sure showed me. Okay, just because you did that, I'm gonna wait here and kill your brothers. There we go. You're gonna murder his entire Beetle family. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Crane, you guys. It's a f***ing spite move. Let's go to Crane, huh? You mean that big green guy? Holy crap, it's Crane! Wow! Holy, holy the crap, it's Crane! <laughs> I would love to see a Family Guy episode where the entire episode is dedicated to a crossover with specifically Crane. Yeah, not even Crade, Met what are you doing Not even here? Metroid at large, just Crane. Just Crane, specifically. <laughs> what about Ridley? No, no, no. only Crane. Ridley's too, Ridley's too too recognizable. Crate is the is the more obscure giant Metroid yeah, monster. Ridley makes a cameo appearance in, in the background of one of the shots, but he's he's not really in it. It's just Crate. Is yeah. this before they started kind of subtly putting like openings in the map where you could it, like move another direction? Or do they? I don't remember if they do that oh, or not no. when it's like a a big like secret door you blow off. But they should. What's Not. in here? What's all this then? This is your family, Chris. What the f was all this thing? What the f all this thing? <laughs> there we go. Whoa, look at all this crazy crud. Every time something dies, it gets a little faster. You see that? Wow. All right. It's almost like people back then had to program with very limited RAM. I know. You just think my fucking Windows 9000 would be able to run it. But we're still emulating the hardware Whoa. as it existed in its day. I need to get a speedy boost for that. Yeah, you gotta be a super fast little ball of ball of be beans. <laughs> <laughs> a little fast ball of bitch. You're my little fast ball of beans, honey. You're my little pork chop. You're my little stink. Oh yeah, this is what you wanted. <laughs> mm. Thank you, silly statue. You're my little annulus. Are they supposed to be like bird people, the Chozos? How did you I, know that that's I, what they're called? I think there's there's something like yeah they're like a there's like a bird sort of like scaly bird race. 
Somewhere between lizards and birds. Well, oh, I haven't gone down here yet, have I? And there's Samus's dad. Are what? they really? Yeah, His name all is of them. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Ridley kill Samus's parents? I think so. I think Ridley also talks. Really? Not in any of the games, but I've been told that Ridley talks and is like intelligent. Oh, this music's so yeah, fucking good. Because Ridley is like a wanted space pirate. That's the whole thing. Like, Wait, you really? think of him as just a monster, but yeah, they always refer to him as a space pirate. Yeah. Oh. He commands them and shit, but yeah. he, uh, when you see him, he's just like a fire breathing dragon that screams. Yeah. That's honestly really cool. I didn't know that. I mean, it, it's weird because it doesn't gel with anything. I mean, it, you just never see it. But it's the only thing I can think of that does that in the history of fiction. Where there's just a thing that screams. There's something then... that's really intelligent, but they don't try to show it <laughs> yeah, through like speech and cool. normal human behavior. And that kind of shit suits video games way better too. I guess that's true. I guess no matter how smart you are, if a guy comes in and you gotta fight him, you just kind of react the same way if you're a dragon or something. Yeah, I was thinking about that. He's still a big old dragon man at the end of the day. Only in video games does. Talking about like a bot, so you know the way in movies and TV shows, if if you don't really meet the villain from the start and they come in at the end, it sucks. Yeah. In video games, that's not the case. Where if you talk about the villain from the start and don't show him until the very end, as long as you keep bringing him up and like talking about crazy shit he does, it it really builds up for a good final boss. That is true. Yeah, because I I feel like media now has this problem where they like mm. overhumanize villains and stuff. And not not to say you can't have a sympathetic villain, but I, I feel like that Whoa! that's not always necessary, especially if you just want to make them scary. Yeah, like when they try like making shit like Freddy and Jason, like they, they try to give him a human size. Like I don't care. Yeah, I, just, I, I think he's cool. I feel like the less you know about them personally, like the scarier that they are. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it really depends on what you're going for. I do like the idea of believable villains, but believable and like human or sympathetic are very. Like, there's a pretty thick line between them. Yeah. yeah. I think it also depends on what you're going for. Like, well, not a thick line, but I'm just saying, there's plenty of room for, like, like if you want, like, one without the ideology other. ideology driven villain, like, Magneto is, yeah. like, a, a good example of something that's, like, you see where he's coming from. But, yeah, yeah there's not like, enough evil Jewish Holocaust survivors. <laughs> <laughs> this music makes me so horny. Do those two little parakeets? I swear those just look like parakeets next to the thing. <laughs> they do. What are they supposed to be? They're the Chozo. They could the be. Chozo parakeets. Do they poop out parakeets as younglings? I do. I always crap out a parakeet. Oh, this game rocks. I forgot how much I liked it. Is this your favorite uh, Metroid? This is my only Metroid. I've never played any of the others. Really? You've never played Prime or nothing? Nope. Oh, I've tried playing Prime, but I thought it was boring. But that is just me, baby! How do I get out of here? What is this? I, I, I remember, like, I was playing Metroid Prime 2, and I wouldn't say that I was enjoying it. Alright. Uh, and, and, like, occasionally my dad would, like, just kind of, like, walk in and see what I was playing. Um, and Metroid Prime 2, I remember, like, I was just kind of walking around and I didn't realize Can you like, make that slide? I didn't know where to go and so my dad came in and he was just like so you don't shoot anything in this game you just have a gun and it was like a fucking balloon deflating where I just realized like I haven't shot something in like 20 minutes this game's fucking boring and then I got bored <laughs> for Prime? for Prime 2 oh I, I do remember liking the first one that sounds like how my dad would react to the yeah. only games I could ever get my dad to play were all oh, FPS's pretty much uh, I think my dad actually didn't grasp the concept of an FPS. He was like, oh, so you're a sword in this one? You're a sword. <laughs> you fu Okay, thank you. I think this is gonna be like another gun. Yeah, my, my dad was like, the first game I remember him getting obsessed with was like, when I showed him Unreal Tournament Ooh. for the first time. So does your dad actually play video games, or does he just No, play? not since I moved out. I feel like he gave it up. Alright. Uh, but... He definitely used to, and he, and he, he was so obsessed with Counter-Strike for forever. Your like, dad? My, yeah, my dad would actually go on, like, Ooh. pub servers for, like, Unreal Tournament and Counter-Strike. And he'd actually do pretty good half the time. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, I remember, like, trying and just failing to get my parents to, like, play video games with me for the Same. longest fucking time. I tried getting my dad to play Left 4 Dead too. 
And he just kept laughing every time a zombie fell over. <laughs> oh, here's your back where you started again. Oh, I mean, I just, I guess I I just I remember I supposed to. as a kid, because I didn't have any siblings or anything, so I'd, I'd get these games that would be like multiplayer. <laughs> And then I'd have to figure out a way to play them alone, because it was like, well, Oh, fuck! No! He just yanks you into the lava, that's mean. That is kind of messed up, honestly. Come here, you. Oh! oh. He's such a At prick! At least from there, he can't pull you all the way into the lava. Okay. It looks like you just gotta oh, avoid him, him by up. sliding. Yeah, eat shit, asshole. Yeah, the frame slowing down actually helped you with that. <laughs> okay. It's like your bullet time, there you go. I got so much missiles right now, it's crazy. Yeah, you, that do, guy, you do have like an I'm actually uncanny shocked. amount of missiles. <laughs> no! I'm shocked that that hasn't killed him by <gasps> oh! now. Oh! Yeah, why'd you jump down? I'm stupid, obviously. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, you silly worm. Oh no, do that again, okay. Yeah, just Ooh. wait, just wait. Alright. Now he's gonna come for you. Alright, alright. <laughs> I think we're getting it now. I think he gets I it. Think I, think he, I think he gets the message. Come on, come on. There it is. Oh, God, you make me so mad. He does two little scrunches right before he attacks. Woo! Oh, I'm so proud of this community. There we go. Of this community? <laughs> <laughs> Which community? The thing dying and falling into the lava community. <laughs> Yo! Did you guys see like the, Dunkey's latest like <laughs> stuff he put out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I love that boy. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, we're we're recording this at the uh, I'm done making good content era <laughs> Dunkey. Yeah, <laughs> which is probably a joke he'll keep going for like a few uh, months. Yeah, m maybe not a few months. I, I can see him doing it for a month. But we'll see. It might just be a week. Who knows? Me and Tommy what if get he to was, say, "What if he's for real? Why can't you take the guy at his word?" Like yeah. Maybe he's really just done making good content, and he does want to just make schlock and retire at like forty. He's retiring. He's he's getting his pipe, and he's gonna read the newspaper now. <laughs> that's, oh fuck! That's what oh. they go off to oh, do. I'm just like yeah, you have to go all the way. Oh, oh that sucks. Yeah, you just have to endure. Fucking me and Tomer knew him way back in the Newgrounds days. Yeah, now he won't even talk to us. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> I said it say that. <laughs> he, he did. You implied it with your eyes. You called him a filthy pig knuckle asshole, as far as I reckon. I got nothing against him. I you still think he's funny. You said, uh, he should have given me more roles. I you never specifically I, said I that. I definitely never said that. <laughs> he was one of the few people that hired me back in the old days when, when I was just starting out. I was doing, uh, I was doing like Akbar cartoons. <laughs> I didn't do a lot, but I was definitely the voice of Luigi in any Akbar cartoons that had Sprite <laughs> Luigi. Uh, ba 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 I gotta fight this old greenie. I find it really, really weird when you you go back and you watch stuff that you think like this guy was famous back in the day, and you like see it and it has like 400 views. Oh yeah. And you just thought like this was the super popular thing because it was like some in joke with you and your friends. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so now what? What well, I... you you still have like a big crate chasm to go down. Mm. I think that's a crate icon. Okay. All right. I suppose. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can get out this way. I can't. I can use this thing. I thought it just takes you to that that sort of like isolated room at the edge of the of the sh of of the thing. There's a big. Oh, uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different area. There's like a big. You can go down here in that room. Yeah. There's a, also a big E smalls. Oh yeah, there's plenty of stuff to explore. Oh, yeah, okay, you, just, okay. you just drop down. I love exploring. I love going to different planets and seeing aliens. And that's my life. Go, 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 go! If a man approached you at a bar and said, I hear you like exploring, you can explore me. <laughs> would you, uh, would you take him up on the adventure? I'd get a pickaxe and break into him. <laughs> You'd excavate? <laughs> And all of his weird plasma would start leaking out of his head. His plasma? <laughs> what if as he drained plasma, he said, fair enough? That would be such a cool day. <laughs> Nobody could talk down to me after that. I knew you'd be up for a bit of it. Oh my god. Oh god, okay. I'm almost dead. I forgot that these guys were just basic. Again, You're Chris, not almost Chris, dead. Chris, you, you have, have the two bubbles. Like, yeah. though each of those represents another hundred health. No. They, they call them old Christopher yeah. Two Bubbles. No. Chrissy Two Bubs. Don't call me that ever again. Chrissy Chrissy Two Bubs. <laughs> oh, you're really getting me this time. <laughs> I never thought I'd be owned this hard. Uh, don't call me owning for nothing. 
God damn it. <laughs> That's funny. I, I'm angry at myself that that got like a real chuckle out of me. <laughs> well, I say we don't let Chrissy Two Bubs die just yet. Yeah, I think it's still got a few more repeats. What does it even it? mean? It's Chris with two like bubbles. Chrissy yeah. two bubs. Two bubbles? What do you- Oh. Like two bubbles you have two health. health. You have two health bubbles that you refuse to acknowledge. <laughs> Old Chrissy two bubs at it again, I see. So, I so, guess- Can um, you just drop a bomb and destroy that floor there? What the deuce? Yes. <gasps> oh, yeah. I believe he can! Well. <gasps> but now he can't explore- oh. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go in the room on the right. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go in here. Ow! There's gotta be a way back up. You can't jump off the roof and fall- float back onto it. I mean, physics are pretty rad these days. Well, I guess it is an alien world. Yeah, alien physics. I guess Don't aliens can do whatever the fuck they want. Nintendo! Oh. What if he pulled out the alien rule book and said, I am an alien, actually! Ooh, and, do it, do it, do it! And then you had to acknowledge those. Yes! I'd get kind of pissed. Who wouldn't? That's fair. Oops. There we you go. You want to check that door on the left first? Yes, yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, uh. Oh boy. Oh, I thought we were at crate. I was really scared. No, this is the m map room. Let's go, you guys. Let's go find that nuts. <laughs> Let's put him on a watch list. I meant find the child, but okay. <laughs> yeah, let him out of the basement. Oh. I'm getting a lot of missiles from this. Yeah. Okay. That's Tomar whistling in the background. There's a whistle? Yeah, it goes... Bruh, 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 bruh. When it starts. I can listen to this song for fucking ever. Yeah, this, this is, is your jam? Yeah, I love this. For some reason, I feel like I've heard it like a disproportionate amount of times. You probably, probably did because of Melee. Probably, yeah. yeah, Smash Brothers... Was there a really good stage that Overexposes you to Nintendo music. This... It's the one with Kraid. Yeah, where he like hits it. Yeah. I feel like I didn't play that stage a lot though. I don't know why I feel like I've heard this song like so much. Oh. What do you know? It collapses under you. Oh, I see. You gotta be a little ball and do it. Is that it? Is there a way to even latch on as a ball right yes. now? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Oh! Yeah. This game's really good at teaching you shit. Like what for? That's you see that's you whistling. Laugh. Huh. <laughs> Please <laughs> clap. Please <laughs> That's a great video. <laughs> Please, Please clap lap. You look so sad and defeated. <laughs> I remember uh That's the most unpresidential thing I've ever <laughs> seen of a presidential <laughs> candidate do, I think, in the history of time. Yeah. That it's was like, it's, it's, it's like like, in the context oh. of anything else, it's like, the guy was just having a bad day, but it's like, dude, you were running for president when you did that. What yeah, well, he, he delivered, like, kind of like the, the, like, I don't know what you call it in, in a motivational speech, but, like, the punchline, and nobody fucking reacted. He was like, we will come out of this stronger than ever before. And then there was just, like, dead silence, and he just goes, please, please clap. clap. <laughs> <laughs> please. Oh, here we go. I haven't been in here yet. Which, I don't know if that was, like, what really ended it. There was that one guy that, like, oh, just I don't think screamed. that's what ended it. I think that was just the most obvious sign that the end had ha had come. I remember back in the day, there was a politician that, like, screamed, and it, like, ended his political career. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, something, Harold, Howard Dean? Yeah, and he just went, ah! Yeah, yeah. He, was he was running, he was, like, running in a primary against John Kerry, and he went, We'll get him in round! <laughs> <laughs> like he, he just like he was I think he was genuinely getting himself hyped up like I don't even think it was like something he planned to do I don't understand why that ruined his career It's at not all. even an embarrassing It's just cuz everyone made fun of it. It, it I think if the, if if the media and 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 like comedy outlets had not mocked him into the ground Oops. with it or if he had found some way to take that mockery and like work it in his favor but I don't know. Maybe there's nothing he could have done. Maybe he really did do himself the moment he let out that squawk. <laughs> that squawk. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm an idiot. This was the way to create all alone. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. I discovered it all on my own. You're exploring at your own pace. Never! Talk down to yourself. You're better than that. You fat fucking... Anyway. Ooh, look down there. Oh, that looks breakable. And shake I'm ignoring it. 
How could shake you? Shake and break. The old shake and break? It's not fried, it's shake and break. That's my fucking move. You can't steal it. What's up? Master shake? Master bake. Oh no, where am I? Oh no. You you're... are moving toward the Kraid? Yeah, you're on a collision course with Kraid. Oh, thank fuck for this. But look, yeah, free save point. I That's am my. Samus. My Kraid save. Hello, Lyle. Do like a cool, like, <laughs> Jeff Dunham. Uh. Yeah, give us a funny accent. These things are trying to kill me because I'm being like Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're okay. coming after you. It's modernity catching up with you. Okay, uh. Hello, I'm Samus. This is how I speak. Do like an Eskimo <laughs> accent for it. Check this out. like an Eskimo. Check this out, right? This is a good one. <laughs> oh, fuck. Too bad you don't have the cool, like, Wiccan destroy the funky symbol weapon white, yet. Destroy that funky symbol, white boy. Destroy that funky symbol, white boy. Ooh. I'm a secret you explorer. fucking genius. That this is about to give the... you the thing that, yeah, it definitely is. Oh, it's the another witch blast. Unknown. But it's gonna let me break those bra those blocks. Wait, why does it just say unknown? Because it's a virus. Oh no. It's alien virus. Is there something like that in this game? Like the fusion suit? Or uh, it's like evil? No, you'll see. It's, okay. it's honestly kind of cool. For now, I must go on a peepee -pee quest. Wish me luck, friends. Bye, bro. I hope you have fun on your quest. Well, Lyle's gone. He just left his phone there. Let's, uh, you know. That, that sounds mean. I don't know. Yeah, we go on his Facebook and we say something that'll, like, you know, make him look real silly. Like, I've got stupid hair and I use, uh, gel. And that, that will sure show him. <laughs> Uh, let's say, uh, I like, oh, he's back. Hey, Lyle. Hey, Lyle. <laughs> Did you, uh, have enough time to accuse me of something before I got back? Uh, Not quite. What am I in the hole for? And we would, and we would never, and we would never Post try it. that anyway. <laughs> Wait, can I just have one more minute with your phone, Lyle? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You've said quite enough to my third girlfriend, thank you. <laughs> I'm really sorry to the viewers who are getting annoyed with the slowdown. Honestly, I think, we tried I think everything. The, I think the I viewers think, are fine. I think it's you. I think if anything, the viewers get more excited when the game slows down because it gives them more time to concentrate on the action. We really did try it. We went through every option in the emulator and yeah. nothing would work, so. We even tried other emulators. We did. We tried no cash. But Visual Boy Advance is, frankly, the most popular, most stable emulator there is. Yeah. You know what the part of it that kills me is, too? Is somebody that actually knows this shit is gonna see this video and immediately identify the problem. Yep. They're gonna sure. be like, you idiots, you should've put on OpenGL mode. We tried that. We tried everything. <laughs> we, we went through everything. And every one, really. I'm Samus, I'm Samus. Oh no. That sounds like someone trying to prove really hard that they're Samus. Who exactly are you? Yeah. Look at her go, dude. <laughs> Please clap. That's like the mating dance of like of like some A peacock uh, spider. Yeah. It does seem like a spider though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, is it the peacock spider that does the clicky thing? I thought that was the jumping spider. Kill that. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, destroy that fucking <sighs> gross thing. Destroy the child. I don't want to hurt you. Oh god, is it? Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> he wakes up. It's old belly button Bill. Belly and Bill. His band of boys. I hate his big open belly buttons. You would. You hate all kinds of stuff. He's just think about all the lint holes. that must be in there. Oh shit, that's not a, that's not good at all. There we go. Okay. Honestly, it's too easy. There we go. There now he's yellowing. <laughs> oh. oh. Fuck. Now he's jaundicing. Don't hit me. Come on. Samus is a metaphor for the mosquitoes. Oh yeah, you have to climb. Up, you have to climb up <laughs> his his lint his lint projectiles. That's actually vile. Come it's cool, on. Cool though. It's just silly. Dude, he's yellower Ugh. than he's ever done, Ben. Stop being so yellow, Kraid! If there was a fucking asparagus that came out of your belly button, you'd go to a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, which granted, he's red as shit now. Oh, he died. Oh, yeah, he's just gone. He's melting. No. Wait, was Kraid like the boss in this one, or is there. There's two. Oh. He's one of the big guys. 
Oh, that's not the big guy. That's the big guy. I like that it cut away to that before he was even done melting. <laughs> yep, life's pretty good. <laughs> oh, there's my ball. Ooh, the speed booster. Ooh. Oh, now, so now you can fucking go... <laughs> now you can pretty much just do Sonic kind of stuff. This is basically a new game now. You go... Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Looter go, looter go! It's just plowing through everything. Oops. Check this out. You go... Mm -hmm. Oh, I really thought there'd be a secret. <laughs> that would mind. be a fun place to put it. Leave me alone, you stupid fucking things! Oh my god. Toe Jam and Earl looking ass. Toe Jam and Earl looking ass, motherfucker. Mm. Come on. God, fuck you. Fucking Dark Souls, Plague Frog looking ass. I love the Plague Frogs. Oh! I'm pretty sure there's a thing you can do where you crouch down and like fly up or something. Can I just try that really quick? If it doesn't work, just cut it out. Alright, you can you can sure as hell try, but though the audience is not gonna be happy. That's fair. I mean And I thought the audience was king. That's always your catchphrase, Chris. The audience is king. You no. like that fat guy in Space Jam that says the customer is always right. <laughs> uh Danny DeVito? Oh, was he Danny DeVito? Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in a little bit. I mean, it was voiced by Danny There you DeVito. go! Oh! Isn't that cool? What? That's sick. I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, Dude, there we save. go. A good shave point. Huh. A good brave point. So that's what's happening. Oh, those don't restore your health? Nope. It takes a lot of it to well, be a well. woman in this man's society, even with a suit of armor, Chris, and you're very brave for it. Mm-hmm. I don't like it when you make jokes like that. It's not a it joke, makes me it's a truth. <laughs> Why can't I turn around? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure when it slows down, it drops inputs. Probably, because I'm sure that all the input detection oh is frame-based. Let me out! Oh, God! You fucking... Mm. Just drop a lot of bombs. You fucks. That's right. <laughs> Fuck them up. There, that got all, most of the health back that you lost. <laughs> what did I get from Kraid? You got the the speed boost. Oh, the silly speed. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here and try that out real quick. I was gonna say, whenever you have a speed boost, look for like long hallway like yeah. rooms. Come on, silly boy. Long John Way like rooms. Fucking. Mm. Good mm. old John Way. John who? John Way. Who's that? The longest John. He's he is the longest John. <laughs> I don't know. He's he he originated you. Long Johns. Yeah. He's actually the golden long john. The silver one is pretty l long, but the gold one is longer. This game's fucking with me. No, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live like this. Don't tell people this is how I live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's a good old Simpsons quote. <laughs> don't tell people this is how I live. Or is it just, don't tell people how I live? I can't oh, remember I, yeah, the quote. Yeah, you might be right. Don't yeah. tell people how I live. Ooh, we were supposed to oh, leave. it's a butt scene. Oh, fuck, it's the space pirates! Look, Tomer, you're gonna miss it. Doing space Pilates. Tomer! Oh, you're wait. gonna miss it! I'm oh, looking! Yeah. I'm fucking looking! See, there is Ridley in a fucking ship. Yep. He's, he's a space pirate, all he's right. He's flying it. Yeah, he's See, a hy he's a hyper intelligent dragon man. I always just assumed he flew from planet to planet. That's what you would think. Well, right? that is kind of what happens at the end <gasps> of su the first scene of Super Metroid, where he like flies into the foreground and somehow escapes the exploding station. Hello, Chozo. Look, we're in ancient Egypt. I cho cho shows you. <laughs> I cho cho shows you. <laughs> Ralph Wiggum? More like, makes me Ralph. I'm in a very Simpsons-y mood, I guess. If you were a Simpsons, you'd be, uh... You'd be Sideshow Mel. What? <laughs> Sideshow Mel? You yeah. mean vastly overqualified to be on the clown show that he is? Yeah, exactly. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the clown show. <laughs> uh, it's insulting. <laughs> it's meant to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Well, I guess we're gonna stop talking for an hour. That's okay. What? I'm just really sad. <laughs> it's Tomar's Why? show now. Because he just called this the clown <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to use the modern internet insult that everyone's uh, everyone's on. Everyone's hurled onto you. Yeah, I'm honestly glad you did. People need to know what this is. <laughs> Never look up to clowns. To clowns to, or to clown. <laughs> Never look up to clowns. <laughs> Tay clowns. Check this out. It's a little trick I learned. Tay's on clowns. You ready? You ready? Ready? I'm surprised that 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 actually sounds like a believable mid 2000s like that's Tay Lalzors. <laughs> like that's Tay clowns with a Z. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's the secret. You ready? You ready for the secret? Ready for the secret? Yeah, I'm ready. You push da 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 da, and then you wait three seconds. Watch the bug. Oh shit. And then finally, we're at our grandma's house. Okay, so you've got you've got a while of of backtracking. Yep, but it's okay. We inv we're Metroid. We invented backtracking. I love Metroid. Check this out. Check this out. Metroid kind of did Fuck. invent backtracking, didn't it? A little bit. I, I'm I sure feel they like probably weren't the very first, but I feel like they were they were. Among the pioneers. There's certain types of backtracking that feels exciting, and I yeah. don't know that they quite nailed that here. Like, they probably just... People at the time were probably just like, this is a, such a big place to be, and a, that's exciting in and of itself. It does one thing, but takes away another, like... Yeah. It yeah. takes away good game design, but it also adds, like, actual adventure. I mean, if you if you make a compelling enough world, a, comp a compelling enough video game realm, people will actually pick up on, like, oh, now I can go back to that place that yeah. I, you know, was obstructed. Yeah. I think here it's reduced down to kind of its Link most simple forms because Link it was so Link to the so Past early. was full of moments like that for me yeah. as a kid. I, I I love that game so much. Every time you realize that the new item you just got from a dungeon will get you into like 50 things you've noticed along the way. Yeah. And then if you take the trouble to go back and find them, they usually gave you oh, cool I, like heart quarters. I feel like very strangely like Dark Souls is does that really really well because instead yeah. of uh, instead of big blue doors, they're just guys that kill the fuck out of you. <laughs> and uh, once you've had the fuck killed out of you, you know like it it, it becomes more than just a door. It becomes, oh, that's that place I'm fucking scared of. So when you get stronger, you're like, okay, now I can go back and kill that son of a bitch. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Whoa. Holy fuck. Whoa. Ah, fuck. Also, it did just occur to me that you probably could have just you needed it ran that, that and didn't... You needed to get in that. Oh, oh. god damn it. Yeah. You probably don't need to start all the way from this. Yeah, yeah. you could probably just that. run this. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, there. <laughs> you do a little That was all turn. the distance you needed. Thank god for that. Oh. There, there you go. Okay. Your funny feet just broke it. Funny, funny feet. feet. He's got those funny feet. Please don't make fun of my funny feet. It allows you to silly sprint. Haha, <gasps> uh -huh, stupid. Okay. Oh, oh do, green you door. A, do you need a super missile green for that? Green door? What the fuck? I'm not supposed to go down here yet? That's just green doorable. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What, where's that, uh... Fuck. You... Oh, it's like a little starfish. Look at That's that. That's not... Is I, that how you open that? Oh, I, I mean, not starfish. Is, I guess it is a seahorse. A yeah. seahorse. At first I just saw it as like a weird, like, hand. mutated hand. Yeah. yeah. But you're absolutely right. right. It's a, I it's guess I don't go in here. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. All righty. I guess they expected you to get frustrated and run back the other way. At least they knew what they were doing. I guess. There we go. Sometimes you will run into game design things like that, where it's like, that was either really well designed, or just I just weird. coincidentally did Ooh. something. <gasps> now you can high step. I can go fucking high. Show us a salmon's Whee! high step. Look, you go wee. So you just jump higher. Oh. Ah, it burns. So Not I shouldn't there. go in there. Yeah, I think you need a special kind of armor before you can go into like the molten areas. Sure, seen that way, don't it? Oh yeah, you don't have the iconic Samus armor with the fucking shoulder balls. Nope, not yet. Now walk down this way. That is weird oh. that it's an upgrade. The various suit or whatever yeah, it's yeah. called. Oh god. Uh, yeah, it is the iconic armor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and it's they just, don't really give you much of a runway, do they? It's just the one where. Can they're... you jump while you're? Maybe I have to do it from the next sprint. room over here. Let's see. I'm just. 
No, but no. then all those guys will respawn. Yeah, Did I don't you... know what to do here. Oh uh, yeah, they're, they're, I forgot about the fire room. Um, maybe they just it doesn't gave you jumping the... make you lose your momentum yeah. anyway? Yeah. Well, they did just give you the high jump, so presumably it's to get out of here. Oh, yeah. oh you yeah. can just, now jump, you can to just that. jump to that. That's so silly. Oh fuck! No, <laughs> you like dodged no! it. No. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we can come back. Too late for screaming. Worm century. Ooh, what the fuck are you? Kill it. It's okay, playing... killing it's not working. Friend it. It's playing scary music. Yeah, you're gonna have to scare it out so it stops guarding its hatch its clutch of eggs. <laughs> you're an egg. I think if you jumped up from here, no. uh, it, there's still a door you haven't gone through. Really? According to the map. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's know. why they call him Noticing Tomar. Because he's Tomar. got eyes in the front of his head. Okay, gotta go all the way up again. Okay, now it is just making us go everywhere. Okay. Yeah, this is just bullying. <laughs> yeah, this is just, just backtracking for the sake I of backtracking. I do not remember Did this. Did you at least gain an item from get from doing that? I got the high jump down here. When she's like glowing like that, and you're up and running around, what can you do? Like that. She's glowing. Isn't that when you can do the jump? No. Oh. Maybe so it's, it's just supposed to look it's like... It's just a cooldown yeah. animation. You do it, you crouch, and then you hold right, and then you jump. Do they even tell you that? Nope. Or is that like a special <laughs> hidden ability? They don't tell you that. Do you need it for certain parts of the game though? Uh... Oh, that's the super bomb. I guess you need it for... Oh, good. I Chris, guess, yeah? you know women better than perhaps anybody in the world. Yep. Um, if you tell a woman that she's glowing and she's not pregnant, is that an insult? I don't think so. Like, so glowing doesn't denote pregnant? I, I feel like it has that implication. Really? I'd be, I'd be real careful with glowing. I'd say yeah. you look kind of porky today. <laughs> you look kind of portly you today. Can, you look kind of hammy. <laughs> you look piggishly porky today. <laughs> You, you beautiful look swine. You look both perky and porky. <laughs> you beautiful swine. <laughs> you look very fucking goitery today. You look swollen, babe. <laughs> uh, okay. You look gout-addled. You look gouty as hell. <laughs>